My fantasy self is a person who reads all the time. The reality is I am on my phone or in front of the television all the time. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Julie. Today I have uploaded a 10 minute better video in collaboration with Melinda Plain and Simple and a few other YouTubers. There is a playlist in the description below. Please check that out for all of the other 10 minute better videos that we'll be uploading today. But today I actually put on a timer for 10 minutes and work on an area that has been really causing me some angst. And there's a little surprise at the end, a little bonus at the end of this video, if you want to see what happens after the 10 minutes. So without further ado, 10 minutes better. Okay, so I brought a box over. <sighs> okay, so my biggest problem over here is I like hidden storage. I didn't know that when we purchased these bookshelves, I figured this would be a fantastic way to organize the bookshelves for homeschooling. And quite frankly, it worked really, really well. Excuse me while I kill a fly. It was great while we were homeschooling, but now it's bringing me angst and I need to do something to get this under control. I've got Newbery award-winning books. I have some of my favorite books that I've read that I have decluttered and these are books that I am keeping because I literally love them and I would read them again. I have actually already read some of them, many of them, twice. Then we have the little kid books that were our favorites growing up that I want to keep. <sighs> Got photos, um, which I don't mind because they're in these boxes. I have stuff for our printer, which could get better organized. And then the photo albums. So really, like, I like the things that are in here, but I don't like how it looks. I am gonna go through books right now, do the best I can. Ah, oh, I do this every single time. I look inside a book and I think, I wanna read this. And then I never make the time to read it. This is, my fantasy self is a person who reads all the time. The reality is I am on my freaking phone or in front of the television all the time. And that doesn't make me happy. I want to be a person who reads. There was a whole bunch of books that I had brought up to my office September of 2020, and I decided that by May of 2021, if I hadn't read them, I was gonna get rid of them. Well, I just brought them back down from my office last month, May 2022, and I didn't read any of them. And yet, I still don't wanna get rid of them. So this is the one area of my house that is very, very difficult for me. I'm going to do what little I can to help this place out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of trash and I'm going to consolidate some stuff. Husband's office. Trash, trash, trash. Trash. Um, so that is the obvious things. I know we've been working on this already for a little while, but I am going to set the timer for 10 minutes and see what I can do to help me wrap my head around my fantasy self. Be completely honest, I put it on for 11 minutes just to get me in here and to account for chatting. 
recently I did record myself going through some of my photos, but again, I realized afterwards that if I continued with that, it would take up a lot of time, but nobody would see the change, including myself, because it's no matter how much or how little photos I have, they are contained within this one spot. The container is doing its job. There's no extra photos anywhere. So I'm not going to deal with my photos right now. Okay, these were given to our 16 year old from my father, who was a pilot in the Air Force. The year old was looking into flying lessons and they got 10 hours flight time under their belt, but they're no longer interested. Copyright 1956. I think I am going to get rid of this magazine. I'm going to keep the instruction manual. Manual. I'm going to keep the instruments, but I am getting rid of his um, leg thing. A pilot would strap this on their leg and have their flight plan attached to it. I'm going to get rid of that. This is a manual for Microsoft. I'm letting this go. Trash. There, that's neater. These are all of my Newbery Award winning books. Um, the ones that are face downward, I read. The ones that aren't, I haven't read. And I really want to read them. And yes, it's a fantasy self of mine. I found out late that I am dyslexic and um, didn't know that growing up. I was a very slow reader, great comprehension. I didn't get into reading until 11th grade of high school and then I became an English literature major. But I feel like a huge part of me has missed out on stuff, knowledge, the stories. So this is me trying to fill in a part of my life and my being that I feel feel like I missed out on because I was behind. So I really don't want to get rid of these. Now, I think perhaps having them laying down like this. Is irritating my eye. So I think the ones that I read, I will put up but backwards like that. It'll look a little less wonky. I can donate that book. Did I finish this one? Yeah, that was a good book. Donate. Okay, these I believe our middle child wanted to keep. I'm gonna put these down in their box. Okay, I've been holding on to this matte photo paper forever and it's matte. I'm not gonna use it. My 10 minutes are up. Oh, this is an art book. This doesn't even belong down here. Okay. Well, that was 10 minutes. That definitely feels better already. Thanks for watching. This is part of 10 Minutes Better, a collaboration with Melinda Plain and Simple. Please check out in the description below the link for the playlist for all of the other 10 Minute Better videos that are uploading today. There is a part two and three, and those will be linked below and at the end of this video. Like and comment on this video as it really helps my channel. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.